guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. For the scent of the day, what else is new? I have a mini candle going. And today's mini candle is Yankee Candles Autumn Wreath. And it's really good for the season, so that's why I picked this one today. So a quick few announcements before we get started on today's video. So here I sit in front of you with absolutely no makeup on, old t-shirt, no jewelry, no nothing. It's just been one of those days and to be honest with you, that's just real life. And then secondly, all of my most used makeup brushes are sitting in here soaking. So we're gonna have to try to get through this eye look without using some of my favorite brushes. But every time I wash my makeup brushes, I make this soaking solution with a few different things inside so I can get all the gross stuff out of them. And lastly, you guys should be so proud of me. I've cut back on the Mountain Dews and this is just water with a little bit of pink lemonade mixed in it. And this is what I'm gonna be drinking for this whole video. So guys, if you haven't seen the Saturday pictorial, this is the palette of the week. And this is the Hip Dot C Note palette. And this is an absolutely gorgeous palette and hands down one of my most favorite in my entire collection. So without further ado, let's get right on into the tutorial. Hey guys, we're definitely up close and personal now so we can really get started. So before anything, I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes with the same old, same old Revlon Candid Concealer. And instead of black, today we're going to go in with a blue tight line. So I know I didn't show you this at the beginning of the video, but here's the color story of this palette. And when I look at this, I just wanted to do a full cut crease moment. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to take two brushes to start with. The first is a small flimsy detail brush. And the second one is just a big fluffy blending brush. So the first shade I'm going to go into is Spirit. And I'm going to start above my crease in the middle right here and start forming a swoop looking shape. So kind of go down here and then we're gonna bring it right back up. Now once you get that part done, then start bringing it on to the front part of your eye. And then once you have your full shape on, you can go ahead and darken it up some. And then once you're satisfied with that, give it a nice blend out. Now once you get it blended out, go into the shade Maya. And we're gonna put this half on the blue line and half on the skin. And we're just going in the same shape as we already made. And then give that shade a good blend. And then the last shade we're gonna go into is Bedrock. And we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did. And this shade's really nice because it gives you a more blurred edge look. And then after you get that shade on, just go ahead and blend the entire thing out. Now the last step is we're gonna go into Sacred, and then at the way bottom of the shape, we're gonna just give this some definition.
And then once you get that black on there, just make sure you blend it out. All right, for this next part, we're gonna cut the crease. So I'm just gonna take this little square brush and then my same Revlon Candid Concealer. And again, I'm gonna start in the middle. And I'm just gonna follow this black line all the way. Now once you get your precise outline done, you can go ahead and fill in the entire thing. Now I'm going to take the same square brush and go into the shade Limestone, and we're going to work on building an outer corner with this. So we're going to start in the crease. And then you want to follow the same swoop shape up. And then come up from the outer corner. And match to the tip. And then once you get that shape drawn, you can go ahead and fill in all the way to half of your lid. And then for the front part of the lid, I'm going into the shade Escape. And you can see I'm keeping that little concealer in the middle so you can still see that. So I'm just going in my crease and just applying this to the interior lid. Okay, so now we get to do a winged liner. And I'm actually going to go in with a liner that I've never used before, so I have no idea if this is going to bleed on me, but I'm going to just try it anyway. I always like to start my winged liner in the middle. And then just do a regular liner to the outer corner. And then once I get to the outer corner, I just draw a line up. And then from the middle of the line I just drew, I take the liner and put a point there and then go straight across to my lid. And then I fill in this little section. And then from that middle point, I go out. After I have that half done, then I go and do the front part of my eye. Okay, so now we have the top part done, so we're going to do the lower lash line, and for that I'm going to go in with a gold bronze waterline. And now I'm going to take that same small square brush that we were using before and go into the shade Subsurface, and I'm going to push that tightly along the entire lower lash line. Now for the actual colors, I'm going to just take a pencil brush. And the first shade I'm going to go into is Ancient, and I'm going to put that on the outer half of my lower lash line and kind of blend out that brown with it. And the next shade I'm going to go into is Goddess and put that on the interior portion. Now with the same brush, take the shade Rain and put that in your inner corner. And you can also put that on your brow bone too. So now what's really important with this look is to take a Q-tip with some micellar water and go around the outer edges and clean everything up. Okay, so that's the whole look. I'm gonna put on some mascara and I will be right back.
Okay, so here's the finished look with simple mascara. And like I always say, if you wanna see it with full blown lashes, make sure you check out the Saturday pictorial. And I will have that link down below for you if you wanna see it. But I absolutely adore this look. I think it's so pretty. Blue is definitely one of my favorite colors to play with. And I always feel really inspired when I find a blue palette that works really well. And like I always mention in my videos, if you have this palette or you want to try to create this look, make sure you let me know about it down in the comments below because I would love to hear your thoughts about it. So let's move right on into part two, which is the palette overview. Hey guys, welcome to part two. This is the palette overview. And like I mentioned before, this is the palette from Hip Dot and it's called the C Note palette. And the packaging on this thing is really nice. It, it's just a nice quality palette overall. And when you open it up, there is a mid-sized mirror in here. And looking at this color story, there are 15 eyeshadows in here. And they each weigh 1.5 grams each. And that's an above average amount of eyeshadow per pan. And looking further into it, there are 6 mattes and 9 shimmers in here. First, let's talk about the matte formula. When I first started getting into this palette and playing with it, I thought I was going to have some real issues with it because it applies intensely pigmented. But the more I got to play around with it, I found this to be an actual really, really good formula. It does everything you want it to do, and it's just overall really easy to work with. And I really appreciate that there's different matte blend out shades in here so you can create really pretty gradients. Now let's talk about the nine shimmers in this palette. Firstly, they pick up nicely on a brush, and that's definitely one of the things I look for. On the bad side that some of you might not like is that the shimmers are a little bit chunky, but that personally doesn't bother me. And I really do like that this palette includes a bunch of different shimmers in different colors so you can really take this to a whole bunch of different levels and create so many different looks depending upon the shimmer that you use. This palette has a really nice light to dark gradient in it. And now I'm going to pop up a picture of some swatches that I did on this palette so you can see how everything looks swatched out. Now let's get into some quick information about this palette. So the whole theme and creation of this palette is Hip Dot's homage to the sacred underground pools in Mexico. So that's what this entire palette is based upon. And this formula is mineral oil free, it is cruelty free and PETA certified, and it is totally vegan. Now let's get into my favorite part, which is the cost. The cost of this entire palette, if you went out to buy it today, is $20. If you break that down a little bit, it comes to $1.33 per shadow. And breaking that down even a bit further, it comes to 87 cents per gram. And as you can see, that is an excellent price for this palette. And my personal thoughts and feelings on this is that I absolutely love it. Like I said, this has become one of my favorite palettes in my collection. And when I use this, I do get a lot of kick up in the pans and I do get some slight fallout on my face. So I definitely recommend doing your eyes first with this one. As far as the recommendation goes, I highly, highly recommend this one. It is so good and you will not be disappointed. So guys, that's all for my video today. I hope you found it helpful and a little bit fun to hang out with me today. And with that, if you like this video, please give it a big giant thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, hit the thumbs down button. And until next time, bye.